Hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. <laughs> I'm here with my mate Dave Kilminster. Um, now, hello. So I've we've, I've just uh, witnessed. You're speechless. Aren't I you? am. I am. I am. So I've just witnessed, uh, witnessed sound witless, check. I've effectively. witnessed. I have witnessed <laughs> sound check. <laughs> I've just experienced one of the greatest guitar sounds I have ever heard. Now, I've heard a few in my time, wow. but I am moved. Tonight, uh, Dave is playing and has been touring with Stephen Wilson. And, uh, and I've always, you know, just managed to miss the gig. So this is the first time I've actually seen you. Really because we put, it is, and it is, uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> washing all of them. Um, so, so, because I, we put this board together. We put this board Sorry. together. No, it's, it's wonderful. We put this board together did. about, was it, Six months ago now, I'm guessing, mate. Yeah, yeah. I think the tour cool. started around about then. Yeah, it was it was kind of last minute, and you did a an amazing job. Oh, thank you, buddy. And then we replaced two of the pedals, so it's kind of looks the spacing doesn't work quite yeah. so well now. But sorry about that. No, it's okay. We'll, no, we'll fix it. We'll have a tidy. Yes, we'll have a tidy. Yes. Okay, I just had to tidy James Bay's room, and now I have I'll tidy your room as well. Thank okay. you very no much. No worries. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's. Can we just experience some of that? some of the sounds you're using tonight um you know obviously this is a working environment people are setting up so you know yeah. we've got to, you know we're a little bit limited Sold but them. yes when you're getting <laughs> sounds yes for steven i mean yes you know one of the um i, I would say in certainly in, in this genre arguably the most important musician of I would know. say so too, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, which, um, which is why I can't believe that I'm actually doing this. You know, um, I think the guy's a genius. I really do. Yeah. He's not going to see this, is he? Uh, probably not. I mean, you know, does <laughs> he, might he get a pay cut? <laughs> but, um, no, he is totally. Mm. And I, I absolutely adore the music. Mm. Um, I missed out on a chance to play with him on the Grace for Drowning tour. Wow. Um, okay. I didn't know. I didn't know his music then, but uh, Nick called me up at the time. The guitar They were just about to go to America. Mm. Um, the guitarist had visa problems, and they said, look, can you do this? I'm, I'm really sorry, I'm just doing a few gigs with a, uh, with a girl singer at the time. Um, so I obviously didn't hear anything more about it, and then I obviously Guthrie got the gig. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought I'd go down and support him and watch the show. And I was like, oh my God, I should have been doing that. That is just incredible. Yeah. That was just when The Raven came out and... You know, oh, astonishing. Unbelievable yeah. album. And obviously Guthrie's unbelievable too, so... Yeah, incredible. Um, and we have, I mean, so we also have Guthrie's board tonight and yes. obviously, you yes. know, it's, it's at, the, at the moment it's a secret, no one knows about it. By the time this By goes time out, this everyone will out. know about it. So, yes. yes, Guthrie is also playing this evening. He is. So, yeah. can, can we just point out that my board is actually uh, a little bit bigger? Than, uh, than Guthrie's. By how much is it? Oh, at least two inches. Two inches bigger. There we go. <laughs> it's an important two inches. <laughs> two inches is always important. Now, when you're going about getting your sounds, <laughs> yes. When you for for Stephen. Yes. Back to the point. Back to the point. <laughs> uh, so how? Um, <laughs> he is very particular about the sounds. Yes. Um, and there's a you know there's a certain amount of guidance and if we're rehearsing and he's, and he's not quite happy with it then he'll come over and fiddle with it as, as I'm playing it until it's, until it's right which is, which is totally great mm. you know, because obviously he's, he's, he knows exactly what he wants to hear mm -hmm. he's an amazing um, guitar ar architect I guess, yes. putting little soundscapes and stuff together um, Can we hear some examples sure. of then some Can stuff? Can I just add by the way that mm -hmm. without this board I would not be able to to do this gig do you, oh, No I'm serious, do you, you do you have a rough idea of how many settings I've got to get through last night and tonight? 95. <laughs> exactly. 95 presets. For 95 the... presets for these two hours, for these two shows. Wow. Four and a half hours worth of music. 
Um, I mean, obviously, some of them are a little bit similar because mm -hmm. I don't want to be banking, changing bank mid tune, <laughs> ideally. Um, what sort of thing would you like to hear? Just you really like that loud thing, didn't oh you? Oh my! Can we hear some of that, please? <laughs> this is just unreal. This is kind of what I use on the um, Regret Nine solo. It's a little, it's a little buzzy. Well, if you don't hear that when, uh, when you kind of crank it. <laughs> A little bit of sustain there, you know. <laughs> it kind of works. That's amazing. You like that? Oh, be beautiful. And then I go over to that one. Um... <laughs> kind of fairly straight ahead kind of rock thing, but really. But it's beautiful. You can, it's just... The, the it's so very creamy, isn't very, it? Very, oh, man. <laughs> so tell us about the guitar. It's... Oh, this guitar. Um, for the last tour I did with Roger right um, his tech called me up about a week before we went on tour mm -hmm. and he said do you have a black guitar and I said no I've got a pink paisley guitar is that any help <laughs> he said no um, he said Roger wants everyone to play black guitars on the front stage when we're when we've got the the pseudo Nazi and the gay biker boots and all that stuff okay. so I said well I don't know is Roger gonna pay for it he's like um, yeah I'll get a black Les Paul. I've always wanted a black Les Paul. I thought, okay, let's just get one. And then I was looking at new ones, and they're really expensive. <laughs> so I got a second-hand one. This is a 88, I think. Okay. Slightly different pickups in it. I mm -hmm. got these uh, from my friend Matt at mm -hmm. uh, Monty's. Oh, Matt from Mont. He makes yes. good pickups. Yes, that's what. That's uh, exactly what big, these are. Big fan. Big fan. Yes. Matt, love your work. Well done, son. Little plug there. Yeah. Another little plug. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's been a long day. <laughs> I haven't even done the gig yet. Now we have to just mention this glorious oh, yes, of course. box of goodness. Now you've been using these guys for for a lot for a while, yeah? Since the first war tour. Wow. In okay. 2005. Yeah. Um, this is why uh, my my roadie at the time he decided to to uh, we, we used to get day sheets with the, the crossed hammers at the top, and so he decided to cut a couple out. And he, and he stuck them on there. So um, Nice. Yes. Oops. And these are exactly the same ones that I used on the wall tour. Right. So if you heard Comfortably Numb wherever it was in this. the world, it was this one. Wow. Or possibly the other one, which okay. is just over there. <laughs> now, if we, if we just quickly run yes. through the yes, board let's then do it. Let's do it. and, uh, you know, show us some... What would you like? Um, um, I've really no idea. Um, this is kind of a nice... Ooh. This is a nice Leslie thing, which I was... Um. This is what I was using in routine for the... Uh... For all those bits. Beautiful. Um, it's kind of nice, isn't it? Beautiful. Is that 6L6s? No. It's the 34s Yes. That's, that's one of the amazing things with this amp, or one of the many amazing things. Because um, the clean sound's unbelievable. You need to get one. Oh. They are. I mean, I can use. Obviously, I can use any amp I like, mm. any amp in the world, and I'm just. I'm sticking with these guys because they just make the best stuff. Oh, sounds um, epic. I mean, to hear you doing your thing in this room. I mean, so I think, you know, hearing routine was the thing that sort of took me over the edge. Yes. Just. Oh, it's beautiful, oh. And, and obviously Nanette got up and sang it as well. Isn't that just like one of the best pedals you've ever heard? That's the obviously the same blocks. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, won't be a sec. I mean, it does this weird thing if you play it lightly? It's, it's kind of higher, and then. moments <laughs> awesome <laughs> awesome um there's also this i did this I, th I thought this had a bit too much reverb though um Tell you what, 
This might sound quite nice. So fast forward a couple of months, we are now we've gone from the Albert Hall Do I look really to the Colston Hall. <laughs> well, it's so it's a big homecoming for it Dave is, this actually. evening. Yeah. So Albert Hall, easy. Albert Hall, Schmalbert Hall. Yes. Colston Hall. This is the place where I went to see my first ever band when I was 14. Right. So obviously about five or six years ago, um, <laughs> and I was sat down there. Wow. Watching a band called Lone Star. And um, this is not only this is the first time you've played in the Colston Hall, but this is the first gig you've played in Bristol since you were like 20. Since, since I was 20, yeah, so about that big. Wow. Okay. So, so no pressure then. No. It's all good. I don't know why I like that so much. It just sounds really cool. It's that's beautiful. The, yeah, that's the flint. Ah, oh, yeah, it's killer. It's so nice. And later on, um, we've been doing this track. Um, in tribute to David Bowie, who obviously sadly passed away recently. Uh, we've been doing, uh, what have we been doing? Space Oddity. Oh, cool. Um, so I just kind of do a little bit of, what do I do? I'm not sure, I think I do that. And then you kind of get a bit of a... Uh, That's fantastic. That yeah, that love that. Love that. Yeah. We're doing a new track called Vermilion Core, um, which is just such a cool riff. <laughs> Do you like you like the heavy stuff, don't you? Yeah, you yeah. Tell. Let's let's. All right, maybe I should put the Les Paul in because it won't be squeaky. So yeah, much. let's make that happen. Oh, more of that! More of that! That you sounds amazing. You can see what I've got on it. How, how? What is that sound? Have a look. It's just the amp. It's just, it's the just amp. channel two of the amplifier. I love that. <laughs> Can you let that, Isn't un, that great? you know, at my command, unleash hell? Because I want, I, you know, <laughs> that really does sound <laughs> incredible. A, that's just not fair to all the other guitar amplifiers in the world. <laughs> Sorry, but that is just extraordinary. <laughs> more, more, more. <laughs> it's not ideal for soloing, obviously. That is just... That is one of the best rock guitar sounds I have ever yep, heard in yep, my own ears. Yep. And I'm not kidding. Honestly, man, it's... it's wow. It is, so seriously, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway. I hope even a small percentage of that <laughs> girth makes it through because it's just ridiculous that is it's the sound that you dream of one day having yeah so dave yes mate um <laughs> what what are we using what are we using the zen drive for 
I'm using it for solos. You heard a little bit of it earlier in the sound check when we did routine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, is that with the slide? Um, no, the, uh, the actual the solos. <laughs> Oh my goodness, that is honestly, that is just ridiculous. Just gone flat, I do apologise for that last note. <laughs> Can we hear but, some more um, of the um, send drive? It's nice that you got so much control as well. quite controllable as well. Yeah, more of that, more of that. Just, <laughs> just more of that. Th that's so, just to clarify, that's channel two on the amplifier, boosted with the Zen drive. Um, yes. Yeah, it's just a little bit of boost. I mean, it's not really. But it's the way the Zen drive shapes that, especially the mid, the mids. Yeah. And that, and you just probably know more of what's going on than I do. I mean, to me, it just sounds more slightly more psychedelic. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's um, yeah. I use it for the the. Um, am I still in drop D? I can't remember. I use it also for the uh, the regret nine solo, which is the big moment in. Um, that. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, but obviously a tiny bit of delay, but it's, uh, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> wow, wow. Massive thank you to Dave Kilmister for um, being so accommodating and wonderful as, as he always is. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Well, Thank you for your board, oh. which um, obviously without which I would not be doing this gig. Oh, honestly, no. My pleasure, my pleasure. Cheers, guys. We'll see you next week.